A. Listen and say. Number 1. See some animals. Number 2. Ride a horse. Number 3. Explore a cave. Number 4. Make a campfire. Number 5. Sleep in a tent. Number 6. Feed a dolphin. Number 7. Roast marshmallows. Number 8. Stay at home. B. Look and listen. We've just come home from a great trip. We went to Washington. We did so many great things. We went to the beach. Alex explored a cave on the beach, and Dad rode a horse. Emma saw some animals on the beach. She loves animals. We also saw some dolphins, and Emma even fed them. At night, we stayed on the beach. I made a campfire. Mom and Emma roasted marshmallows. Dad was really tired, so he slept in the tent. But last weekend, we came home. On Sunday, We just stayed at home and watched TV. Staying home is boring. I want to go on a trip every weekend. C. Listen and write the letters on the picture. A. Sleep in a tent. B. See some animals. C. Ride a horse. D. Stay at home. E. Feed a dolphin. F. Explore a cave. G. Roast marshmallows. H. Make a campfire. D. Sing a song. Turn to page 119. Some animals, how about you? Hi there, what did he do? He rode a horse, how about you? Hi there, what did she do? She made a campfire, how about you? Marshmallows, how about you? Hi there, what did they do? They stayed at home, how about you? A. Listen and sing, then circle. Some animals, how about you? Hi there, what did he do? He rode a horse, how about you? Hi there, what did she do? She made a campfire, how about you?
toasted marshmallows, how about you? Hi there, what did they do? They stayed at home, how about you? A. Listen and repeat. What did you do on your vacation? Well, first we saw some animals. Cool. Me too. What else? We rode a horse and we fed a dolphin. That was interesting. Ah, I fed a lion. What else? We explored a cave. Wow. Where did you go? Washington. What about you? I stayed at home. Haven't you played African Safari? A. Listen and say. Number one. Exciting. Number two. Interesting. Number three. Boring. Number four. Scary. Number five. Ranch. Number six. Campsite. Number seven. Aquarium. Number eight. Zoo. B. Listen and write the letters. A. Scary. B. Boring. C. Ranch. D. Aquarium. E. Exciting. F. Interesting. G. Zoo. H. Campsite. C. Listen, then look at the pictures. Ask and answer. How was the zoo? It was boring. How were the dolphins? They were interesting. D. Chant. Turn to page 119. I visited the aquarium. You did. Did you? How was the aquarium? It was interesting. I went to the zoo. You did. Did you? How was the zoo? It was boring. I stayed at the campsite. You did. Did you? How was the campsite? It was scary. I rode on a horse. You did. Did you? How was the ride? It was exciting. I explored a cave. You did. Did you? How was the cave? It was scary. A. Listen and read. An interesting ride. Hi, I'm Samantha. My family went to the desert for our vacation. We camped there. We rode camels to visit some pyramids. I learned a lot about camels on our trip. In some ways, camels are like horses. But horses cannot live in the desert. Camels can live in the desert because their bodies are special. Sand blows in the desert 
and can get into the camel's eyes. Camels have protection for their eyes. Each eye has a clear eyelid to protect it. It also has two rows of eyelashes to keep the sand out. A camel can live for six months without food or water. Camels have special humps that store fat for energy. The hump stores fat every time the camel eats and drinks. Camels have wide, flat feet. Their feet help them walk in the sand. Each foot expands and flattens the sand to make it easier to walk on. I love riding horses, but I also loved riding a camel. C. Listen and write. Then answer the questions. Number one. Horses can live in the desert. Number two. Camels can live for six months without water. Number three. Camels have humps to store fat for energy. Number four. Camels have wide, flat eyes.